when you find those who need what you carry, you will be a happy person, I tell you. Your first joy is serving something that is needed, serving grace, information, truth, ability that is needed and useful, and then the satisfaction that comes from making an impact in the lives of people. I have taught you here, referred to my teaching, um, What Seekest Thou? I taught you that fulfillment, there is a psychology to success and fulfillment. And that true fulfillment is predicated upon meeting certain intrinsic human needs. Number one, significance. This is not my teaching, oh. It's still part of my contemplation. We're getting to my teaching now. Are we together? Significance. That is the first human need. Everybody craves for significance. Number two, variety. People crave for variety. That's why when another iPhone comes, you suddenly hate what you loved the day before because there is a passion in people for more. Unfortunately, the side effect of having an appetite for variety, if untamed, leads to covetousness. Are we together? You will always want more, always want more till it kills you. You must get it to a time in your life where you can say enough. Praise the name of the Lord. Number three, the third psychological need of all men is growth. People want to grow. They want to grow. When a woman gets pregnant after six months, she's happy. Are we together now? What is the difference between the protruding stomach that is as a result of cancer and the protruding stomach that is as a result of pregnancy? All of them lead to your stomach protruding. But on one hand, the woman is dancing. On another hand, she's saying, Lord, this thing must go back. The difference is an awareness that there is growth happening within her. Are we together now? The growth that is as a result of a cancerous cell is dangerous, is deadly, but the growth that is as a result of a baby within the mother's womb is a great blessing. Growth. Number four, what do people crave for? Desperately, significance. This is particularly true with men. All people but the male gender, significance. When you hear a man say, do you know who I am? That's what he's trying to say. Doesn't matter who he is. He may not even know who he is himself. If you ask him, okay, who are you? <laughs> are we together now? I am the son of so, 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 and so. Or oh, I'm a director or this and that. That house is my own. Do you know who I is? Just craving for significance. Hallelujah. Significance. It's very powerful. So when you acknowledge people, we have a chairman of so, 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 and so in this place. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, and all those MC, they know how to massage the ego. Ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, please, let's give it up for X, Y. You see the person trying to manage. <laughs> Hallelujah. May your world celebrate you. Yeah. Those who don't like you, they will keep crying every day. Yeah. But as for your destiny, you will keep going forward. Yeah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Growth, then significance. What else do we crave for? Impact. 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 All men desire a life that is impactful. Sit down with an armed robber, sit down with a drug addict, sit down with someone who is given to alcoholism and tell him, why is your life like this? If he's not under that influence, he will talk to you sincerely. He say, even me, it's not like I really like this thing. So as stubborn as they are, something within them is crying to make meaning with their lives. That's why you can give them a job now and say, okay, I will give you 100 naira, fix these blocks. And they will do it because something within them wants their lives to count. It is a terrible thing for an individual to live your life and it's not counting. It's not making any difference whatsoever. Are we together now? Very, very important. When these factors are at work in your life, you will be a very fulfilled person. I taught you in the series, What Seekest Thou, that the only gift you can give yourself is fulfillment. Success is not your gift. Success comes by you serving others. But the only thing you can give yourself is called fulfillment. It is the satisfaction that comes from knowing that you have lived or are living your life effectively serving the purposes of the kingdom and being a blessing to humanity. We call it fulfillment. It's an art. There is a, an art to fulfillment. And there are many successful people I've seen in my life who are not fulfilled. 
is why people can commit suicide with billions in their accounts. They are successful, but they are not fulfilled. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 